beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, so let's see. Um, who are we doing? Taurus. Taurus, let's see what's going on with you in a love situation. All right, so what I am going to do, because they have a habit of showing up in my readings anyway, I am going to check on the past person, see what happened with them, and then also check and see how they view you. And then we're definitely going to move on to the new person, okay? All right, what I've been noticing is that during this Mercury retrograde, a lot of people have an ex that is lingering around wanting to uh, come back. So this might be the case with you as well, okay? So let's get into this and see what messages do we have for Taurus? What's the overall energy for Taurus' love life here? Please and thank you. All right, so we have codependency here. All right, so that's a red flag. All right, so there might be romantic feelings here, and it's telling you to express your love here. All right, on the bottom of the deck, honeymoon. So there may be someone that actually wants to, uh, you know, spend some time with you alone. Take a hiatus. Let's see. All right, but there's some codependency issues here. Hmm. I don't like that. Let's see. All right, what messages do we have here regarding this situation? All right, not your typical love story. Hard to say goodbye, hidden desires and intentions. Mm, okay. All right, so looks like somebody wants to spend some time with you. Yeah, no more bad decisions, fears and anxieties here, wearing a false mask, sitting in self-pity. Somebody is upset because this situation is over. They do want to come back to you, but this person isn't letting you know. They're waiting for you to return to them. Um, this karma is kicking this person's behind. Looks like you two might be mirroring each other, so to speak, in certain aspects, okay? Rest, recovery, before restart. So uh, you do have someone that plans on trying to reconcile with you. It's hard to let you go, okay? So they're not telling you their intentions are to come back towards you to reconcile, so, yeah, you need to find out what's going on with this person in this uh, situation because there is some codependency here, all right? So, there's that. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we got the lightning here. There's definitely a sudden change here. All right, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. We got the axe here, breakup, separation, uh, love here, unconditionally love, and um, affection, tra attraction. Oh, my goodness passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, okay, so, um, looks like you two really care about each other, but there's a situation here that's keeping you two apart, all right, um, yeah, don't really want to go into what happened here, but it's possibly going to come out anyway, and what is this, ascending, Okay, so somebody is trying to figure out a way to communicate with you and see if you guys can move past this, all right, because they want to re, re uh, attempt this again. All right, so let's see. Oh, what happened? What messages do you have for this person? All right, family time. fulfilling the fantasy. Somebody here could have been dipping out with other people. Let's see. All right. There's some gossip here. This person may be talking to uh, talking to other people. Hold on for a minute. so let's see all right so let's see all right so we have investigating this person is keeping up with you all right family time this person if you have children or anything with this person this person might tell you that um they want to spend some time with you or whatever all right this person says they hate nothing about you at all this person is kind of money hungry too all right materialistic here all right let's see all right so this person probably um Oh, 
for someone here, I just got that this might be a, a, a feminine that stepped out on a masculine energy. This might be a female. I got a whole nother side note here. Okay, someone here may have someone that stepped out on the relationship, possibly cheated or something like this. But someone else here may be dealing with someone that is a stripper who is materialistic and goes after money. All right, so this may be the person that dipped out on the relationship here. Money hungry. Get in the room. Fulfilling the fantasy. Somebody possibly wanted to sleep with a stripper. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Alright, I'm leaving that alone. Let's see. That, wow. Okay, anywho. Alright, so somebody plans on trying to, uh, trying to make some movement here. Trying to come towards you to make some changes. All right, so this person definitely wants to go uh, spend some time alone. This person might be focusing on their finances right now, um, trying to get some money together so you guys can go on this um, little retreat or whatever. This person is definitely in regret behind some of their actions here. This person is admiring you from afar. They do feel like you were some type of precious gift in their life, a blessing, and there's betrayal here. All right. So, soulmate. Yeah, there was betrayal. This person definitely wants to reconcile. Uh, this is going to be somebody that's actually going to reach out and uh, open the lines of communication. Uh, let's see. What else here with this person? Anything else? Yeah. This person is wondering is it's over. All right, they want to fight for this relationship, but afraid that this might break out into some type of argument here. Definitely want to reconcile. This person might be at a distance from you, so they might have to travel towards you as well. And this person also might be planning something for you, too, where you actually have to travel, okay? There's definitely a tower moment here, disruptions, drama happening here. Um, somebody here is definitely making plans to... You know, spend some alone time with you. Take you out to dinner, possibly the whole nine yards a weekend. All right. So, yeah, somebody definitely wants to reconcile here. So, yeah, there's that. All right. So, let's get into this and see how this person feels about you. All right. How does this person feel? Or, matter of fact, how do they view Taurus? How do they view Taurus? Ooh, right about now, this person feels like you are um, very stern, strict, <laughs> um, not really approachable. Ooh, yeah. This person feels like you are, um, you're not interested in rebuilding with them. Let's see. This person feels like you may suffer a lot from anxiety, sleepless nights, a lot of worry, a lot of things on your mind. Um, wow. This person feels like you do have, you still have a lot of love for them. You wanted um, something stable with them, a marriage, commitment. Uh, this person feels like you are someone that will hand someone the harsh truth. This person also feels like you can be impatient at times. There's some things that uh, you've gone through too that you haven't healed from. Let's see. All right. This person also feels like you get a lot of people that are attracted to you too. Um, although you might not pay them any mind, but there's a lot of people are fighting for your attention here. Uh, let's see. Give me one more. This person also feels that you're very action oriented. This person sees that you're um, very goal oriented here. You go after what it is that you want. You don't back down from adversity. 
Seems like you're a very strong person, very strong will too. Hard worker, very loving and caring, very dependable here. Nurturing, huh. husband, wifey material, someone that would definitely give the person the, the shirt off their back, the shoes on their feet and anything else that they need, okay? Very honorable person here. What else? I like it. It just seems like you kind of worry a lot, but someone here is wifey or husband material. Absolutely. All right. Very generous here as well. And you possibly make an effort to keep the peace in almost any given situation. All right. So let's see. Let us see. All right. So let's get into this new person. We're going to get some characteristics about this new person. And then get into their reading, and then we're going to get out of here. This is the fastest one that I've done so far. All right, give me six regarding the person that's coming towards Taurus, the new person, please. All right, we got four. Give me one more, please. Uh, okay. All right, so this might be someone that is actually a movie buff. This could actually be someone that is actually on screen. They can have um, an online uh, profile or something like that, um, or a social media profile where they uh, entertain or whatever. This person could be, you know, uh, um, an influencer here. It doesn't have to be. This could just be someone that really likes, you know, movies and things like that. They like to spend a lot of time out. All right. Uh, this could be someone that has like, so like if they have a series of movies that they like, they can, you know, be like into Predator or uh, Alien or, you know, what do you call it? Um, what's that other show? Star Wars or Game of Thrones or whatever. Maybe they're the type of person they binge watch certain things. I don't know. All right. Maybe they like to go to the movies a lot. All right, so, yeah, like I said, someone here might be an actor or actress. Doesn't um, have to be. All right, there might be children involved, or this person um, is very playful, have a childlike mindset here. All right, they might be into culinary arts, like to cook, might be a foodie they like to eat, okay? Maybe this person likes to travel, go out and eat as well. They like adventure here as well as travel. This could be someone of a tan complexion, doesn't have to be. This person could be between their 30s and 40s. All right, for some of you, they might be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Also, matter of fact, between their 20s and uh, 40s here. All right, could be older or younger than you. So let's see here. Let's see what's going on with this new person. All right, tell me about the new person that's coming towards Taurus, please, and thank you. Let's see. Give me messages for the person coming towards Taurus, please. Okay. All right. So, my goodness. All right, so we got someone coming in that wants equal give and take. It looks like this person is very generous. This might be someone that likes to gift you things here, Okay. They're looking for someone that is very compatible with them, um, someone that's easy to work with, you know, um, someone that's going to compliment their life, okay? All right, so this person might be um, conflicted a little bit about this situation, about making this offer here real quick. They, Yeah, mm, somebody's in their head about this situation, okay? Um, this is someone that is determined to get what it is that they want. They want the Ten of Cups and also the Ace of Cups here. So this is someone that is very interested in you. However, when it comes to making some type of offer here, they might be a little bit in their head, okay? So too soon? Too soon. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. All right, this is somebody that is trying to manifest what it is that they want. They're determined to do so. This person is definitely attracted to you. They are going to tell you this. All right, I think this person is very truthful as well. I like this. All right, let's see. Give me more, please, and thank you. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that's going to take their time in a relationship. 
All right, this person is the type of person that will not just come out right and tell you, hey, you know what, I'm in love with you and all these other things. This is someone that is actually going to make a judgment call to give you things. You see how this person is giving their heart over to someone here? This is someone that's actually ready to give to you, all right? So this is someone that's coming in equal give and take, very honest, wanting to grow from the bottom up. So in other words, this person may want to have children and things like that with you. Uh, build the family here, okay? A lot of love to give, just pretty much reserved, kind of chill. This person is very intuitive as well. I like this. All right, and this person is very patient, uh, very family-oriented as far as I can see. Let's see. All right, so right about now, this person does want to give to this situation, but they're not moving yet. They're just watching, waiting. You are the star to them, okay? So they're, they're taking notice, that's for sure. All right, looks like you're their wish fulfillment. This person is being very, very, very strategic how they make this move here. Some of you might actually have other people that are interested in you. So this person is like, you know what? I really need to this these people to move because I want to move to Taurus. You know, I want to give this offer to Taurus. For others of you, this person, like I said, there might be some internal conflict or whatever going on with this person, all right, before they make this move here. They're trying to figure it out, all right? The sun is here. Yeah, this person is getting clarity here. They're trying to get clarity. They're in their head with the five of swords here, but they're trying to figure this out. How do I make this move? I know what I want. I want to take action. But I want to be sure that Taurus is going to accept this offer from you. Taurus, this could actually be you making an offer towards someone else, okay? All right, so we have the Magician and the King of Pentacles. Yes, this person is trying to manifest stability, manifesting their husband, their wife, their partner. Stable partnership. Let's see. Knight of Swords ready to come in and tell this person too. All right, kind of cautious because you've had your heart broken before. This person has had their heart broken before. All right, so... Here we go. Yeah, conflict. Someone here is really overthinking a situation, okay? How do I get this to come together? How do I get Taurus to say yes? How do I go about making this proposal to um, Taurus? How do I let them know that I'm even interested in wanting to grow and build with them, okay? Uh, yeah, this person is trying to figure this out, but they definitely want for a movement with you. All right, you feel like home to them, like their kindred spirit. They're supposed to be with you. You're the empress. All right, so they see what they want. They know that if they don't take action on it, they're gonna they're gonna regret it for the rest of their life. All right, so yeah, this person is being very patient here, um, really trying to figure this out because they don't want to get rejected and end up getting their heart broke. So this person is kind of obsessive about this situation, and I gotta tell you. Um, I hate to say it, but it, it kind of feels like this person is hoping for the best, but expecting the worst, okay? Good grief. Give me one more for temperance, please. Also, I think that this person is still kind of healing from something here. All right, the two of cups, the eight of wands. This person definitely wants to reach out and tell you what's going on, okay? Um, messages coming through, uh, passionate messages as well. This person wants to move forward to the two of cups. All right, let's see. And with the Six of Cups that I came out here, I do believe that this is possibly a soulmate that is coming in for you, okay? This person is going to express how they feel, upfront and honest. Now, normally the King of Swords, I mean, the King of um, Cups does not express themselves when it comes to love, you know, verbally, but this person is going to come out and tell you, okay? Bringing... Um, balance into this situation all right so of course there was some disappointments in the past but this person is picking up these two cups realizing that there's still an opportunity to have their ten of pentacles and they're taking it okay coming towards you absolutely so right now i see this person is holding back still in deep contemplation on how to approach you and when to approach you okay so uh, yeah, there's that. So it looks like this person is going to be coming through, okay? So you got some new love coming in. All right, Taurus, this is what I got for you guys. You take care. Bye.